Eric wants to set up a rain gear shop. He has 7,000 of personal savings. His living expenses amount to 3,000 a month. To start his business, Eric estimates he needs to pay 8,000 to buy the goods, the rent deposit, and 5,000 to run his shop. He takes 3,000 from his personal savings and he borrows 10,000. He sets up his shop in February. He has no other income, so this month he leaves from his savings. The first month is slow. He sells for 3,500. Even though he makes a loss, he pays himself. Else, he won't have enough for the rent and food for his family. April was wet. All the best. He made a profit and his cash left is nearly back to 5,000. Let's fast forward a bit. May and June were rainy and the word of mouth is working. People know where to buy an umbrella or a raincoat. He has more than 8,000 in cash, but it does not dare take more than 3,000 for himself. Summer months are usually dry. Summer was not only dry, but very long, and his cash is drying up. November and December have been horribly quiet. People didn't buy umbrellas nor raincoats. Eric ran out of cash, so he borrowed 2,000. Just as he had nearly finished paying back his first loan, he decided to pay himself 2000 only in December and use the last 1000 of his savings to pay for the house bills and food. Eric cut his prices, hoping that more customers would come, but it didn't really work. He had to take more loans in order to pay back the ones from the previous months, and interest are high. So, one year after starting, Eric can only pay himself 2000 while he needs 3000 to live. He owes 7500 between his business and personal debts, and he has hardly any cash left to run his business. But things would go better, it's sure. April was very wet last year. People would buy his umbrellas and coats. If you were Eric, what would you do?